Hey guys, I'm Daryl from Playcast as a TGN, and today I'm playing the Arsenal mode on Counter Strike Go. And it's sort of like the gun game in the old Counter Strike versions. You start off with a gun, thinks the M4 for CTs, and I quickly get taken away in the sort of first round already. Uh, it gives me a bit of time. Um, you actually get like. You start off with the M4, and you progress to the P90. Um, I found this mode really fun. Um, but a bit frustrating at times because you, it it's just difficult, you know. Like with the old gun game, you sort of leveled up, de and depending on what type of gun game playing, playing turbo, you get the gun instantly. This is a bit more like the classic gun game, but the, the guns aren't in any sort of real sort of power order. Um, so, like I said, start with the M4, um, which is the sort of comparison gun to the old M4A1. Um, and it takes a bit of getting used to. Um, it doesn't have a silencer, and the damage is alright, but it's it's just the feel of the game is a bit different. Um, we're playing on St. Mark, which is was included in on the uh, 16th of March on Counter Go, along with uh, CS Italy, a hostage map. And also DE Dust 2 underscore SE, which is a map that was designed purely for competitive play based on the reactions of players um, who felt that there was a lot that could be improved on the original DE Dust that was on CSGO. So they've removed the cables, they've removed the uh, fog, and some of the particle effects. And I think. But that's something that's going to need to be done to a lot of the maps in CSGO if it wants to become a big esports title like uh, 1.6 and Counter Strike Sources. As you can see here, I've managed to get one kill down on the side with P90 and then fail as spray. Um, I'm not really too sure what gun that gave me afterwards. I think it was the UMP or the UMP, as it's known. The Counter Strike, sorry, the terrorists seem to pick up a lot of rounds. I'm playing against bots. Um, Seem to pick up a lot of rounds in the sort of first opening section of the game. Um, you play, I think it's 10 rounds in each half, or something like that. I, I, sorry, I can't really remember. Um, so yeah, I've got the UMP. One thing that I found with this gun, it has a really, really low power. Um, I think I did something like 22 in 3, or 22 in 4, or something ridiculous like that. And yeah, as you see, you see me checking out the score, seeing how much I did. I, I do that quite a lot because in Counter Strike Source, which is a game that I play very regularly, if you open up a console, you can see the amount of damage that you did to the enemy player out of 100. Um, and that's useful for relaying to your teammates. I'm playing with bots, so it's not really that great to sort of say. So, yep, here I am with the ump again. You don't get a pistol. Other than on the Mr. Arms, that's Chaddy talking to me, the other guy in Playcasters. Um, so yeah, I'm just crouching. I'm trying to learn the map, and one thing that I learned is that the uh, terrorists push from the right hand side when you're a CT, and the same is reversed for when you're a, C uh, when you're a terrorist. St. Mark, though, is a really nice small map. Like, it's a sort of themed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to call it, like a beach resort, I think is a better way. I was thinking of like seaside resort because I'm British. Um, and the idea of the game is to stop the terrorists from planting the bomb. And every time you get a kill, you progress up a weapon. So now I've got the Desert Eagle. Um, and with this, you also get a bonus grenade. And each time the round starts, they actually tell you, bonus grenade. So with some guns, you get a flashbang. But with the Desert Eagle, you get the uh, grenade. I'm a bit better with the Deagle, so I pick off one frag, and then I should get another one in just a second. Or maybe I'll just miss some, then I'll get one. There we go. Nope. That's a teammate. Come on. I, I know I get one. Um, so there we go. I'm going to push forward. I'm going to throw my grenade, see if anyone's coming there. Sort of bait him out. There we go. I get one shot, and then I get the second. And now we're just sort of playing for the rest of the round. Let's come up on radar. Just keeping around. And then the uh, bot teammate takes out. Next I have the sort of 
pump shotgun. Now, I don't really personally like this gun. It's called, I think it's the Nova. It's not very nice at all. Um, it's, it's nothing like the M3 where you actually felt like when you were causing damage. This to me feels like a sort of like BB rifle. Um, it's not very good. You have to be right up close to sort of get any damage on. Uh, see the one pops up behind the radar, on the radar behind the boat. And I just quickly take him out, quickly advance into the next gun, thankfully, which is the 5.7. Um, the 5.7, I feel, on the Counter-Strike Global Offensive, is a massive improvement on the one on CS Source. Um, like, it, the rounds on the Counter-Strike Source um, version feel like it didn't do any damage. I know here it feels like I'm just spraying, but the gun actually feels like it has a tiny bit of power. And I can't remember if I actually get the uh, kill in this round. I do, because I've just picked off one. And I get an achievement. Um, trying to get some more off. There's one left, apparently, according to my teammate. And I try to pick him off through the uh, trailer, just try to play him around. But of course, being a bot, <laughs> he doesn't really know what to do. And I think we switch sides now, is that right? Bonus grenade. Nope, still got some more. This is the P200, I think? I'm not actually too sure. I think it's the um, equivalent to the USP, uh, which is the main gun that people start with as a counter-terrorist on CS Source. So this is the main sort of CT pistol. Also get a bonus grenade. I don't think anyone actually pushed me there, so that was a bit of a waste of grenade. The terrorists are all over the sort of bomb truck. I think that's me that one there. Sorry, it's a bit awkward. Nope, I'll definitely go on there though. Um, as you can tell, my name in game is Flame. Um, that's not actually the name that I use. This is me borrowing a friend's account that has kind of global offensive on it. Um, because it's a game that I'd really like to try and play. Um, as you can see, I'm top of the leaderboard there. But it's nothing really prestigious because we're playing against bots. Okay. So yep, I finished, this is half time, I finished at the top of the leaderboard. Um, I think I was on like 16.5, I can't actually tell because it, I'm playing in the little window of Vegas. Here we go, so you start off with the bomb, start off with the AK-47, which is the opposite to the M4, A4 they start off with as a CT. And I quickly rush out. I was hoping that this gun would be a bit better, I tried to plant where I can't. But, there we go, I got to pick off one frag, try to get the second. And I die miserably. I think I did a fair bit of damage, but like I'm noticing that even though they've recently released a post saying how oh look we've got smaller hitboxes, it's going to be more accurate. I've played CS Source for about since 2004, and it's just something that I should be able to do. Like I know that. The hitbox is on 1.6 and CS also a bit more generous than this game, but even so. So, knowing that the CT is pushed down the side, I'm rushing with a P90. Which is always the best way to use P90. And spray. Right, so I pick off one. It's nice that you get a nice little ding to sort of identify that you've killed someone. There's a second. Can we keep on moving up? Um, nothing that nice, that's nice, is along the top it tells you if your teammate dies, you get like how many are still alive. The only way that you can sort of get that in Counter-Strike Source is by using a custom GUI, such as the Home GUI or Toxic GUI. Uh, this gun, which is the Bison, I didn't really like it. Um, you get a lo load and load and load of rounds in it, but I found that the damage was kind of not very useful. I don't see it being used that much in competitive play. Um, this I can't remember if they actually still have the bullet tracers in here. I can't say I noticed. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, they do still have the tracers in it. That's something that I don't feel will be like that great for competitive play. Other than the fact like, oh, he's over there. Um, it's, it's something I don't like. I, I don't know why, like... It just doesn't need it. This isn't COD. You might as well have hit markers as well if you're going to have tracers. Because you need a way to tell you that that's what's happening. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just trying to pick them off from ages away. I think I get like 22 and 5 
with this one. Just try and pick him out through the window. He's gonna come to my knowledge. It just doesn't work. I'm on 75, 23 health now. Get picked off by bot through the foliage in the boat. Great. Okay, but we win the round anyway. He's got some cool shades. Why do they have shades? It's probably something cool to do with a terrorist. We need the word of the shades. That's the worst terrorist accent in the world. Uh, so yeah, still on the bison. This time I think I do pick up a frag to move forward to the next sort of level. I started off playing Counter Strike Source on a low gravity gun game server. Um, and I was part of that for probably about five years. I eventually ended up taking over the clan and running it. Um, as the old leader didn't have time. Um, there's still sort of like a tribute server running. If you look for Serta online, that's S-U-R-T-E online, you'll sort of be able to find it and it's it's an amazing server and I wish I could keep doing it. So yeah, the game, uh, 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 I can't see. There you go, I pick off one, pick off two, so three. I, can't, I think I get the clutch on this round. So yeah, it's one on one. It was one on three. Here we go. I see him, I try to pick him off. Try to get through the uh, barrels, and then I think I just push him again. Bit of a spray there. Uh, so yeah, I'm on Desert Eagle, and I also get a Molotov. The Molotov is a new weapon in the Counter Strike series with Global Offensive. You can throw it, and it sort of leaves out a line, a line of smoke. It sort of blocks the player's path, and I just go straight away for the plant because I know that. They can't push forward everyone at the side. So I'll take off the other side. Take down one CT. Take a look down there, see if anyone's there. And it's just a quick round overall. And now I'm back onto the Nova. Which is that pump shotgun that I hated before. And you know what? I still hate it. There's just things that shouldn't win the game and... I feel that like this is one of them. They need to sort of upgrade it or give it a more sort of a better sound so it sounds like it causes more damage. So look at this, I'm just I am shooting accurately and as you can see the player names come on. I'm playing it a bit slower, trying to get a kill in, jump up, increase my sort of position. Right there, my crosshair was on his head. There's no sort of jump shoot in this game either. I like the way it is a bit more tap tap, as opposed to spray with source. Um makes a more like 1.6, which is always good. I think it's going to... I don't know if it'll actually bridge the gap between 1.6 and Source players to come onto this new game. Purely because 1.6 players are usually very reluctant to try anything new due to the way that they didn't transfer over to Counter Strike Source when it was originally released, as there were so many bugs and they felt that the game was too easy. Which, I'll be honest, it is. Counter Strike is a game that is easy to play, hard to master. Um, I'm very much looking forward to getting this game. I don't know if I'll transfer over to it, but I do feel that there are things that could be improved on, like the traces, the feel of the guns. It's getting better, but it's not right. This, this is something not right there. I like the sort of overlay. I think that the colours are a bit too sort of bright like it's there's a bit like bloom going on this is where I realised that you can actually take control of the bots I forgot about that feature if you're dead and you're spectating a bot on your team you can press E to take control so you're sort of like back in the game as that bot and that's a pretty nifty feature okay so still with the Nova because I didn't get a kill even though I got one as the bot it doesn't count towards my sort of levelling up, levelling up. So I just push him, try to get the kill, and there we go. We've got one. And I think to finish off I get the clock, or do I get the tech nine? We'll soon find out. So we are in a... I think... Oh. Can't actually tell. We are on a four versus three situation here. Three versus three. Come on. We should win this round. If not, we're dire. 
And I think I just find him magically behind me, or one of my teammates takes him out. Oh, I've got some achievements there. Oh, I get taken out from behind. Nice cover for my teammates. I can't remember if I take control of one or not. I think I'll just check out the scores. He gets taken out while he's trying to cover the bomb. And I think this is probably one of the last rounds here. I get the Tech 9. Now this gun has like 32 bullets in it. But it's god awful so I just push with it. Knowing that they're going to come there. I just tap 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 tap. I'm going to get like 2 or 3. And then I have to sort of wait for my uh, teammates to try and take him out. I think, do I take control? Yeah, I take control. This guy's got the Glock. And I take out one, I think. There we go, finish of the game. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Daryl from Playcasters, and I'll see you again soon. Thank